Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I've been putting off doing a argument or presenting a, a case on something, and that is the beloved question, uh, Flash versus Tomb Boom Harmony, or Flash versus Tomb Boom. Uh, typically, I would rather discuss sex, religion, politics, or Mac versus PC, or something a little less controversial. But at the end of the day, I've got to come out and speak on something. Uh, yes, I used to use Flash for animation, and I stopped years ago when I started uh, using Tomb Boom. And the there's no difference if I'm animating. Yes, I will always work in Toon Boom. If I'm having to do anything with code, if I got to click on something, okay, fine, I'll use Flash. Um, there's even product projects that I'm working on right now where we do all of our animating in Toon Boom, and then we take that animation over to Flash and then add interactivity. So in short, uh, I'm coming out and saying it, uh, Do what do I prefer? And and to all you Flash people out there, like man, Flash is awesome. I don't know what you're talking about. That that that's all well and good. Uh, allow me to show you why uh, I like Toon Boom over that. And that's gonna be. I'm gonna show you two different types of rigging. This is in Toon Boom Harmony Essentials. This is the bottom of the line Harmony product. Um, so yeah, it's uh, there's three different versions of Harmony. There's Harmony Essentials. Um, Harmony Advanced and then Harmony Premium. So what I'm going to show you can be done in the bottom of the line Harmony program. If anyone thinks for a half of a second that Flash can do this, feel free to respond with your tutorial video saying, Tony, you're full of crap. It can't, Flash can so do this. All you gotta do is go buy this extra plugin, yada, yada, yada. Yes, that was a Flash jab. Anyway, enough about that. So uh, yeah, ho hopefully I won't get too much hate mail on this, but understand, I'm gonna show you what the difference is. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna zoom out here just a little bit. And I have two different groups set up, set up here. And this is uh, just, using uh, different layers. And I've made these pretty much identical, but what I'm gonna do real quick, I'll solo these out. So each of these layers, like here's the bicep. There's no black line connecting them at all. And there's a forearm. And here's the hand. So there's no black line connecting these. And pretty much what I did was um, on both sets of these, got the setup and I wanna show you two different ways of rigging in Toon Boom. And this is more so than a flash versus Toon Boom. This is technically hinges versus bones. And what's the difference? Okay, because I used to think the same thing. Dude, what's the difference? Why would I want to use bones when I can just use a hinge? So to explain what these are, hinges, think of it like uh, a paper skeleton from Halloween. Uh, so each little segment can be clicked on and then there's a little grommet so you can actually rotate things. So to do a hinge and Tomb Boom, we've got these three layers. We've got bicep, forearm, and hand. So what I'll do is connect or pretty much parent the form to the bicep. And I'll just click and drag this right under there. And then I'll grab the hand and I'll click and drag this right under the forearm. So the bicep, I'm gonna grab my transform tool so you can see this. If I click on the bicep, it grabs the entire arm if I click on the forearm, it just grabs the forearm and the hand. And then if I click on the hand, it just grabs the hand. Now, before I move any further, I need to make sure that each of them have their correct pivot point. So I've done the parenting. So I'll go to my advanced animation tools. And if you don't see this, this is in Windows. Come down to toolbars, turn on advanced animation. Okay, so grab the rotate tool and make sure that's the rotate for 
or the pivot point for the wrist, for the hand. For the forearm, the pivot point would be right there at the elbow. And for the bicep, it would be right up here at the top. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn on my animate button and I'll collapse the bicep here. And let's insert a keyframe. Let's do F6. And perhaps by frame 10, I will say, yeah, this is going to rotate. I'll, I'll bend the arm a little bit. So we're going to zoom out. I'll rotate the arm here. And here's where the whole little rigging part comes in. Because I did this parenting, I can go Shift B and it moves down the hierarchy. So I can bend the arm a bit. Okay. I'm going to Shift B again. And now I can bend the hand. Now, if you look, you can really see where these start to break a little bit, but I can actually come here and adjust this just a little bit, maybe like that, and maybe adjust the hand like that so you don't see any breaks. Okay, now that's hinging. So typically when you're working on a hinge, what you would end up doing is going in to the actual drawings and instead of them just being cut off flat, what you'd end up doing, let's go to the drawing mode here. And I would maybe curve this part here. So it's a little overlapping. Okay. And so you didn't see those little creases there or those little blank spaces, but that would be how you would just draw things out initially. So I kind of make sure there's a nice little hole there anyway. So that's pretty much working with hinges. Now, I'm going to show you how you work with bones. Now you can do this in Harmony Essentials as well as Harmony Advanced. Uh, Harmony Premium not only has a bone deformer, but it also has curve deformers. There are no curve deformers in the lower versions, but let me at least show you why the bone deformer rocks. Okay. So I'm going to go and select So very top one here, and I'm going to go up to the top and grab the rigging tool. This is this little hammer and wrench icon here. And if you don't see that, you go to Windows, Toolbars, Deformation. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm going to grab the rigging tool here, and I'm going to click right at the top of my bicep. Come down to the elbow, and I'll click again. Come down to the wrist, I'll click again, and then pretty much out to where the hand is. Okay, now, if I look at my timeline, the only thing that has a bone attached to it is the bicep. So let's change that by grabbing the forearm and the hand. I'm gonna hold on my shift key and make sure I drag this under bone two. And now I'm going to make sure I put these in order, put the bicep back on top. So it's bicep, forearm and hand. So I'm not parenting these. I'm just leaving them straight in a line. I'm going to bring this down. And the other thing you want to do is make sure that the your region here, this is where you can adjust how large this should be. And I'm making sure it's at least touching the outside of the arms. Okay. So now what I want to do, is I'm going to collapse this bone. And we'll insert a keyframe at the beginning. 
F6. And again, we'll go to frame 10. And I'm gonna to go to my transform tool. And if you note, the color of our bones has just changed. Letting us know we are ready to animate. So I can rotate the arm here. And now I'm gonna rotate the elbow a little bit. And let's go ahead and rotate the hand a little bit. All right. Now, if I click on just the select tool or just turn off my little bone so you can see, here's the difference. It has gone in and glued all these pieces together. So it looks like one solid drawing. Okay. Now that is the power of the bone tool. Pretty awesome, huh? So again, uh, this is kind of hinges versus bones. What's the difference? Um, and some of you might even be thinking, well, dude, can't you just keep a solid arm with the bone tool? Yes, actually you can. But more on why I did this on separate layers in a different lesson. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, the hinging as well as uh, the bones. Uh, just two reasons that I prefer working in uh, Tomb Boom Harmony or Tomb Boom products versus working in Flash. So again, for, for all of you Flash users that are out there that are saying, hey man, you're, you don't understand. Yeah, Flash is awesome. Flash is actually better than Tomb Boom in ActionScript, but that's about it. <laughs> so um Anyway, not trying to start a fight, but if you know of a way to do this uh, and, and do it this simply in Flash, feel free to respond with um, a tutorial or point, point out a tutorial, knock yourself out. Uh, as well as those of you who are moving from Flash to Tomb Boom, if you have questions going, dude, how do you, how do, you do this? How, how would you do this in Tomb Boom? Um, feel free to shoot me something and let me know. So, uh, Again, there's at least five different things. Uh, Tomb Boom's camera, Tomb Boom's automatic lip sync, um, working with Z-Depth, uh, being able to just move things backward and forward and, and on Z-Space. There's so many different things that you can do in Tomb Boom versus Flash. So just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, Keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Hey, and be sure to like this video, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And that way you can keep up to date with all the new tutorials we have coming out. Have a good one.